You know, there are a lot of great restaurants all over the country. There are a lot of famous chefs all over the world, but there are very few very creative chefs, and I'm here to meet one of them today. His name is Chef David Burke. Now, Chef David has had restaurants all over the United States, one in particular that we're going to visit today, which is David Burke Prime, serving the best aged steaks that you can find. So let's step inside, greet the chef, and eat on Taste This. Chef David, how are you? Good to see you. Good. good, everything good? Yeah, not bad. Not you bad. know, I, I was in the mood for steak. Okay. I said, I have to come here for steak, and, and where do you find the best steak? Right Came here. In the right place. At David Burke Prime. <laughs> but we're not just going to have steaks today, right? We're going to have a little bit of uh, lobster. We're going to have some Asian-style lobster. We're going to have some crab cake. The famous we're gonna crab cake. Raw bar. We're going to have some dry-aged beef. Yeah. And what Maybe I really came lollipop. here for, the lollipops. Yeah. All right, so what's the first thing we're going to do today? Well, the first thing we do is going to show you how we age our beef. We have a salt aging box. It's lined with uh, Himalayan rock salt. Oh, really? It helps our aging process, and it's really the key to um, the great beef that we serve. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go. I'm all yours. At David Burke Prime Steakhouse, we're here in the aging room. This yeah. is where the magic kind of yeah. all uh, starts out, right? Yeah, this is the, uh, it's the key to the steak. As you see, the red meat on this side is fresh meat. Right. This gets delivered. Uh, this looks like it came in today. This will get tagged. These came in on the 14th. These came in on the second. Then you see the red, and it starts getting a crust. It starts aging. We rotate it around the room for up to six weeks. Right. And then it goes out the door for cutting. You see, they they shrink. You put the weights on it. They'll shrink by 20 percent. Then you got to cut off the. the uh, Crust, right? But the the flavor intensifies, the enzymes break down, the flavor develops, it's more tender, and you've got the ultimate steak. The the, the, the fat matures and creates umami, and it's uh, that's what the key to a great dry age steak. And a lot of people don't dry age because of the real estate involved right. and the loss of product. It's expensive, but and a good piece of dried beef is just. You know, and you're going to actually be cooking one of those steaks uh, for us later, right? We've got a 38 ounce porterhouse. 38 with our name on it. All right.